Hello everyone, welcome to this video lesson. In this video lesson, we are solving the problem in one dimensional motion. Let me first identify what is given in the problem. We need to calculate the ratio of the time taken by a freely falling body to cover its first one meter and only second meter and only third meter and so on. That's the ratio. It is given that the body is a freely falling body. That means its initial velocity is zero. As it is falling down, its acceleration is acceleration due to gravity in a positive value because the velocity of the body will be keep on increasing. And let us consider this is that freely falling body. I want to calculate the displacement. We know the formula for the displacement S as ut plus half at square. To cover the first meter, that means s equal to 1 u is 0 because it's a freely falling body a is plus g let us assume it is taking a time t1 square so what i can write is 1 is equal to half g t1 square that implies t1 equal to root 2 by g this is to this is the time taken to cover the first 1 meter so this is to cover 1 meter now let us use the same formula and calculate the time taken to cover the all two meters so to cover a a total displacement of two meter i will use the same formula again s is h half g t square distance covered is 2 half g but the time is t2 square that implies t2 equal to root 4 by g but be careful to understand one thing that it is the to cover the total 2 meters but I want the time taken by the body to cover only second meter that implies to cover only second meter the time taken is the total time taken for the total two meters minus the time taken for the first meter t2 is nothing but equal to root 4 by g minus t1 is nothing but equal to root 4 by g now I want the ratio that implies the ratio to cover first meter, second meter and so on is first meter root 2 by g, second meter root 4 by g minus root 2 by g. So if I have taken that root 2 by g as common in the denominator, what I will be getting is root 2 minus root 1. This can be cancelled. So the ratio is 1 is to root 2 minus root 1. So the ratio will be 1 is to root 2 minus root 1. We will be so on getting root 3 minus root 2 and so on further. That can be further simplified. Thank you for watching. Keep coming for more and more video lessons to this YouTube channel, Anchor Sakadi.